What's up everybody, I'm Mr. Second Passport and today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic um, how to start a business abroad with zero to no money and a lot of people think, oh I know what he's going to say you got to go into this debt and that debt no, no debt and oh I know what he's going to say, ah, I'm probably going to how to get partners, no, no partners either um, no debt, no partners, no money you can do it, I've done it and uh, here's how. The first thing you have to realize is when you start a business with no money is get this notion in your head of you have to buy property, you have to buy a house, you have to buy a property, you have to do this, buy a locale. No, lease, just lease. You can often buy, you can often lease uh, places that are already furnished and then the upfront cost is very small to do your business idea. A lot of times, I've done it myself, you can find, you locate the, the place you want to live and you decide what kind of business you want to put and you can find similar businesses that are kind of on the fringe, kind of struggling a little bit. You can approach them and offer to lease them and they will, they'll lease to you, ready to go. Often what the business needs is just a new energy, a new attitude, um, a new cleanliness, you know, things that don't even cost money but it's just extra effort that wasn't there before and that's why the business wasn't doing good and that's why you could get in get in there and, and get a get a low price for it um, so get that notion of buying stuff out of your head and start thinking about leasing you know that's one way you can start a business super cheap uh, or often with no upfront cost in Ecuador or very very little uh, that's that's what I've done and that's what I currently do in in Quito Ecuador Okay, what about no debt? Well, I just explained that, you, you know, leasing, you, you don't need to acquire any debt. For a lot of us who've lived abroad a while and don't plan on ever going back, uh, in my case to the U.S., to live and work, um, debt isn't an option. We don't have, I don't even have debt. You know, I've been out of the States, out of the system for over 10 years, um, and I don't have debt. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? You know, I had a little mishap, too, when I was young and uh, dumb and uh, so that isn't even an option for me so I'm not even talking about that. Uh, partners be very careful choosing partners preferably no it's like a two-headed snake trying to go in the same direction it's really tough um, and if you partner with a friend like I have chances are you won't be friends at the end of the relation of the business relationship if you, you know, if you do partner with someone, make sure they really bring something valuable, not just money to the, to the relationship, to the business. Um, but generally, I would shy against partners. It's, it usually doesn't work. Okay? So that's how you can start a business abroad, any type of business you want, just like I did, in my case, a small hotel, for zero money or almost zero money, like maybe a few thousand bucks, you can start most businesses abroad um, with this strategy of leasing. That's me, and I'm Mr. Second Passport. I'll see you later.